Hi everybody, welcome to week two of your four week abs challenge. Today we're using a small ball as an added prop. If you need help selecting your ball or a substitute prop, I put tips in the class description. Start by gripping the ball between your lower legs. Take a controlled roll down to the mat and lift your feet up to tabletop, folding the hands behind the head. Flex the feet for extra connection to the ball, then lower the heels down, tapping them on the mat. Without moving the pelvis, lift the feet and the knees back to tabletop and then into an abdominal curl. We have a combo move to open up our series. Heel taps down, lift to tabletop, abdominal curl. Give equal attention to each component of the exercise, isolating movement to the hip joint as you lower the heels down and return to tabletop, then hold the legs still for your abdominal curl. Exhale as you curl up, inhale, release the head, tap the feet, exhale, feet up, Continue exhaling with your curl, then inhale to lower the head and lower the feet. Three more sets, tap the heels down, lift the knees up into your curl and lower. Tap the heels, return to tabletop, abdominal curl. One more time, heel tap. Exhaling up, lift to curl, lower, and tap the heels down. Release the hands, grab the ball, roll yourself up, then place the ball behind you, lower back, resting the ball under the base of the rib cage. Find an even slope from the shoulders through the spine down to the hips. Fold the hands behind the head, take a small lean back, see the ceiling, then exhale to curl up with a little twist across, bringing the knee up to the elbow. Lean back, exhale up, twist other side, knee to elbow. Really important, as you lean back, it's not a back bend, it's just a small extension over the ball. You don't want to strain your abs. They're already working really hard being on top of this unstable surface. Continue curling, twist and march. Lean back, exhale up, other side, twist to march. Lower back. Lift up, twist, untwist, and back. One more set, up, twist, lower back, lift, twist, untwist, and rest. Release your hands again, but keep yourself where you are with the ball. You'll tuck one knee up, kick the other leg out, and single leg stretch. We switch. Two, three, four. Holding the body as still as possible, only kicking the legs. Now take a quick pause. We're adding in another step. Switch the feet, kick up, down, and switch. Lift up, down, switch. Keeping the body stable, lots of core work. Now you're adding in more hip flexor, more quad with the extra lift. You can also stay just with the single leg stretches. Continue out, up, down, switch, up, down, switch. One more time, out, up, down, 
tuck it in, place the feet on the mat, sit up, grab the ball before it rolls away. We're transitioning to a side series. I'll give you a few seconds to get there. Place the hip to the back of the mat, bottom leg stretched out. One arm supports you, tuck the ball tight under the hip, then slide the top foot back on the diagonal, the bottom arm up to the corner of the mat, and the top arm extends overhead. Rest, laying over the ball, inhale to prepare, exhale, top arm leads you into your side abdominal curl, lift it back up and over to release. Exhale up, two. Inhale, release. Reaching back on the diagonal towards the back foot and keeping the legs split open for stability. If you need to slow down, we have time. I'm doing a set of 12 on this exercise. So six more to go, lift and lower, five, four, three, good stretch, two, one more time with control, up, reach, top arm comes forward to the mat to stabilize you so you can press up, release the ball, and come over to the other side, giving you a few seconds again to set yourself up, propping the ball tight underneath you, bottom leg straight, then the top leg slides back, Lower down, bottom hand to top corner. Reach the top arm up and over. Exhale into your side curl. Wave the arm overhead, release. Up, two. Reach back. Up, three. Four. Remember the arm, the top arm guides you into your abdominal side curl. And as you're lifting into your side curl, try to close the space between your bottom rib and the top of the hip. Lift and squeeze. Wave the arm, release overhead. Exhale, squeeze. Release and reach. Three more to go. Steady movement. Up to reach overhead. One more time. Exhale, lift. Wave the arm overhead, then release it to the mat. Place the palm down. Tuck the feet in. Press yourself all the way up. For our next set, you're on your back with the ball under your hips. Let's set up by placing the ball to the side of the body. Then you'll push into a bridge, roll the ball underneath your hips, and you're ready to go. Palms down, tuck the knees in, kick the feet up to the ceiling. It's double leg circles. You'll let the feet fall towards the head, Open the legs, circle away from the body, then zip it up through the middle. Let's do eight starting right here. Feet fall towards you. Open the legs, circle away from the body, draw the feet up through the middle. Here's two. Circle away and draw the feet up. Three. We'll do a set of eight right here and then reverse the circles. Number five, feet towards you, open away, close the feet, pull it up. 
Keep everything in your zone of control. Your pelvis will move as you circle around, but you don't want any strain or tension in the lower back. One more circle around, bring the feet up, pause right here, ready to reverse. Feet away. Open the legs up, circle towards the head, and through. These might be smaller. I usually make them a little smaller going in this direction because you don't want your feet to go too far away before you start that circle. Always good to maybe start a little smaller, then increase the size of your circle as you feel comfortable. Challenge yourself by working in each direction, making sure everything's balanced. Legs through the middle, open the feet up, circle towards the head, squeeze the glutes to lift through. One more time around, then finish with the feet pointed to the ceiling, tuck the knees in, feet to the mat, press into your bridge, release the ball. Roll back up to seated position and we'll do our final set. I'll set you up with a demonstration of two different positions you can try. The first one is feet balancing on the ball, palms down on the mat. You'll roll the ball in and out with a straight back and straight arms. Next option would be rolling the ball in and out from the elbows. You need to squeeze behind the elbows, open the collarbone, and lift through the rib cage for this option. We'll also progress to a third option. You don't need to try it right now, but I'll demonstrate. It's the arms reaching in front of you and taking the roll in and out from there. Let's set up either from the hands or the elbows for your first set. I'm going to tuck back elbows and knees, roll the ball out, and press my arms back up. So a little tuck back, roll out, press up. You can do this from the elbows or the hands. The elbow bend is optional, but I like to give myself a little extra tricep work. One more repetition right here, then you can try the next level if you want to. This is lifting the hands off the mat, keeping the feet on top of the ball, then rolling it out and in, same thing, just less stable, no support from the arms. You can also do it like a teaser, lowering the body as you stretch the feet out, like a little V shape. And you could even add in an arm wave, up and down while you're in the tucked position. This is your chance to challenge yourself, see what energy you still have. No matter how you're doing this, you wanna keep your knees pointed to the ceiling, your back straight, your feet connected to the ball. All right, two more, wherever you are, out and in. Last one. Out, in, I'm lifting my arms up and down. There it is, your finale. Your final exercise is complete. Let's do a little stretch here. You can use the ball for support in your Cobra. Just pull it up underneath the chest. Stretch out the back, the abs, through the hips. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed week two. I love the small ball and I want to know if you love it as well. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss a workout and I'll see you soon.